Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Hanai. And we're from TSR Games, and we're here to give you a quick intro to Top Secret New World Order. Uh, if this is your first time playing, if you just got the game, or you wanted to check it out, we figured we would make a really quick overview, because, uh, you know, we run this at conventions all the time, and it really only takes a couple of minutes at the beginning of the game to tell people the basics. So I thought, why don't we do the same thing on the video? Mm -hmm. um, and I also thought I'd be a little bit embarrassed to just be talking to the camera all by myself. So I asked Hanai to sit here and get talked at. <laughs> yeah, sounds fun. All right. Let's do it. So um, we'll get out the basic stuff here that's in the box. Um, you know, you get your dice, these fun little clips. We're not going to go into all the different things that come in it and, you know, what they're for. Although they're really cool, you have vehicle cards, mm -hmm. um, you have player mats, and we are going to look at these. So I'll leave these sitting out. There's an adventure that comes in the box. Uh, these really cool little tokens for uh, characters and cars and situations. And Hanai did these illustrations, so they're awesome. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Ah, there we go, second camera. <laughs> um, rule book. But what I want to get to actually is the character sheet here. So I'll take one of these. The character sheets, you get 20 of them, and they just, nice little gum, gum to tablet, they come right out. So I'll set everything off to the side here. Okay. Um, so the first thing is there's five different types of dice that you use in the game. Uh, there is a 20-sided in here for like one special occasion, but we're not going to talk about it right now because it's not that important. Uh, mostly what we're going to talk about is the basics, which is a four-sided. In fact, here, why don't I put these over? We've got a camera here so we can see things. We've got a four-sided, and you can probably guess what's coming next. A six-sided, and an eight, a ten, and a twelve. And the reason we have these five different types of dice is because this is actually a dice pool system. So every time you're going to be rolling a skill check, you're going to roll three dice and you're going to add them up and try to get 13 or better. And that means that you've succeeded in any tradecraft skill. The only other kind of roll there is, is an opposed roll where you're trying to do something and somebody else is trying to also do it or beat mm. you or whatever. Right. So um, we're going to talk about the two different roles and how you do them. The first one is called the Tradecraft Roll. So for this, I've actually gone ahead and we've got two characters that are already set up here. Let's take a look at these two. So these are the player mats, right? These are just um, to have in front of you to make things really quick and easy. You've actually got your whole character sheet, and this has everything from your, your, your agent uh, portrait to the different attributes, all the kind of stuff that you'd expect. You've got your equipment that can go on the back, weapons, languages you speak, all that cool stuff, but we just want to get started, so we're just going to focus on the basics. You have five attributes, nerve, suave, pulse, intellect, and reflex, and these are all the things that are just your natural abilities. This is just how you are. You can mm -hmm. improve them a little bit over time, but really it's just kind of your basic attributes. And then you have your tradecraft, and that is the things that you've been trained in as a spy, mm -hmm. human intelligence. Human, mm -hmm. so anything where you are uh, trying to elicit information from other people right. or just work with people. SIGINT, signals intelligence, is all about the kind of electronic communications that you do. Uh, so that would be radio, internet, any of that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, drones, well, anyway. Uh, tech is technology, so it's a little bit different from signals intelligence because it's just technology in general. Uh, and then combat is anything that is very physical. So that would be fighting, of course, but it's also stuff like driving a car or piloting a boat or an aircraft, uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's your combat. Mm. Okay. So when you do a tradecraft roll, you have three things that you're rolling to uh, try and succeed. And that's your attribute, your tradecraft, and whatever asset you're using. So let's say, for example, that you're trying to fly a drone. The drone would be your asset. Okay. Uh, we use these little cards here to make things uh, easier during play because one of the things about Top Secret is you use a lot of dice because it's a dice pool. Yeah. And you always want to remember, well, which dice am I rolling? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and put the dice on here. You can see we've marked it down, D4, D10, mm -hmm. etc. So we can just put the right dice directly on there. So there's a D6, there's a D12, 
Here's some D10s. Got a, you got another four? There's one. Okay. Uh, need three D6s and a D12. Okay, great. So the idea here is that when I say something like, okay, grab your intellect dice, you can just look right on the card and say, oh, intellect, there it is. And I grab that dice mm -hmm. and then I can put it back when I'm done so I know where it was. And then your drone is a D8, so we'll put the little drone there as well. Cool. So what we might say in this case, I'm gonna take these and make it so you can roll. Let's put the little rolling mat that you made, which is oh. so cool. <laughs> That's another um, story. This is Bucky. Bucky, oh. thank you for helping. Hi, Do you wanna roll the dice? Come on, let's go down on the ground. Okay, so you're in the park and you want to um, surveil this two enemy agents that are having a meeting. They think that they're gonna to be totally covert because mm -hmm. you know they're in the park, they're yeah. safe. But you have a drone, yeah. and so you're gonna to try to fly it over them silently mm -hmm. so they don't notice. Um, so as the administrator, and that's what we call the game master, uh, mm -hmm. we call them the administrator. Mm -hmm. So as the administrator, I'm gonna say, well, flying a drone, that's your intellect attribute. So grab your intellect, at d6, oh. put that in your pool. Um, and then uh, tech is your training for this. And so that's, uh, where's your tech? Let's see, upside down. Here's another D6. Okay. Um, and then your drone is a D8, so you grab that. So here's your die pool. You're gonna throw those three dice, mm -hmm. and if you get a 13 or better, you succeed. And if you fail, then I'm gonna decide as the administrator what that failure looks like. Right, okay, here we go. Oops. Yeah, throw it in there. Okay, so you've got a 10. You failed. I failed. Now I get to decide, am I gonna have the drone crash into them? Right. Am I gonna have it just kind of get blown away in the wind because it just didn't work? Or are they just gonna notice it and see it? And I'm thinking since 13 is a success and 10's not bad, I'm not gonna make it be the worst thing where it actually crashes into their heads. Um, in this case, they just notice that the drone is flying overhead and you failed. Okay. So that's a tradecraft task. Now the other kind of task that you can roll is a, you can put those back, six, six, and eight. Yeah. The other kind of task that you can roll is an opposed roll. And this is any kind of contest. Most often, well not most often, a common thing is combat. Uh, it could be hand-to-hand -hand combat, it could be firing a gun at somebody. Um, it could also be things like uh, if you're hacking a system and there's an opposing hacker who knows about it and is trying to stop you. Or maybe you're trying to uh, convince somebody of something and they're really skeptical, you might have a roll off for that. So an opposed roll, you're not worried about 13 anymore. Now it's just my NPC against your player character. Hmm. So I've got, as the administrator, I'm controlling these two agents. One of them has decided to run. He's like, oh no, we're being watched. And you're standing right there, so you can stop them. So we can do hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hmm. So hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat is going to be reflex and combat against each other. Okay. So I've got a D8 for combat. So I'm going to grab my D8, and I've got a D8 for reflex, and then you've got your two D12s there. So you can just grab your D12s for the combat and the reflex. Yep. And let's move this card out of the way. All right, so there is you know a whole initiative system and things like that, but if you're just getting started playing, just go around. You figure out the initiative system your second time playing. We just want to know the absolute basics, which is how do I roll? All right, so now the enemy agent has seen that he's being surveilled and he's gonna run away and you get a chance to stop him. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll tackle him. Okay, yeah. so what we're gonna do is an opposed roll. This is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah. And in an opposed roll, you're the attacker and if you get a higher roll, then you success you're successful. So let's roll against each other. I rolled a 10. You rolled a seven. <gasps> so you try to tackle him okay. and Oh, he's evaded out of the way. So now he's going to fight back. He's like, oh man, I can't just run. I'm going to have to punch this enemy agent. So he's going to try to punch you. Now I'm the attacker. So we roll again. And I've rolled a 16. And you've rolled an 18. So he's missed. Oh, Let's cool. keep going until somebody hits somebody. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> you want to punch him back? Just let's yeah. do it. Okay. All right. So I rolled a 4. And 18. 18. Okay, 18. Now you've just... Nailed him really good. So yeah. the other, only other question is damage. Damage is really simple. We just take pulse minus pulse because there's a chance that even though you hit him, it doesn't hurt. So your pulse is uh, something. Where'd it go? It's right here. Okay. 
your pulse is a D10, so grab your D10. Um, his is a D6. So the way we're going to do this is, because you're hitting him, um, we're going to subtract his roll from yours. Okay. And uh, that's how much damage. 6-6, six, six, no damage. Okay. So let's just roll it one more time just to see, just for, for the heck of it. So three. Th wow, this is amazing. How many times can we get the same roll? Let's do it. Two, five. Okay, so you got a five, he got a two. Three points of damage. Okay. And that's it. That's that's the opposed roll. Yeah. Um, there's a whole lot of other things you can do. There's modifiers. Um, so we don't do anything like pluses. We don't do plus one or minus one because that's math and that just slows things down. Mm -hmm. Instead, um, if you have, for example, a D6... And we say, well, you know, you have a better chance of doing things, and we might do what we're called stepping it up. So we step it up to a D8, or mm -hmm. we could step it up to a D10, or we could step a D10 up to a D12. Or if you have a D12, which is the highest, we could step it up by just adding a D4. Okay. And then we can do the same thing. We can step down. So um, a D8 might get stepped down to be a D6, which could mm. get stepped down to become a D4. And if that gets stepped down, it's gone. Mm. So that's it. Modifiers are just stepping up and stepping down. Uh, there's a whole ton of stuff that's in the book um, that you can actually dig through. Here's a book right here. Um, we have a really great index in the front of all of the tables that are available, uh, the contents and everything. We can kind of show that another time. We are going to put up a whole index to the entire book on the website because that's something that's kind of an oversight. Uh, it's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're going to put that up. But basically, there's all these things you can do. Surveillance, car mm -hmm. chases, combat, uh, hacking, uh, any number of cool um, specialized skills, languages you can speak. It's really deep. Yeah. But all you need to know to get started is how to roll. We've got a dice pool. Mm -hmm. You've got the tradecraft roll. Or you've got an opposed roll. Mm -hmm. And that's really it. <laughs> that's all you need to know to get started playing Top Secret. Go ahead. Dive in. When a situation comes up, look it up. Make a ruling, move forward, have fun, keep the story going. Worry about getting the rule perfect next time. Just yeah. look it up and get it next time. For now, those two roles are all you need to get started. Good. Play, have fun, be a spy. <laughs>